Hi, and welcome to the second of three videos in this Getting Started series with Pyara. My name's Cuba, I work as an apprentice software engineer at Pyara, and in this video I'm going to be covering the process of installing all of the tools and software we'll need to create our Hello World application and deploy it using Pyara Micro. If you haven't seen the introduction to this series yet, we recommend going back and watching it first, as this series is best viewed in order and in completion. So, for this series, we're going to need four essential tools. Java, which is the base language in runtime for the software. Maven, which is a build tool that will make building our program nice and straightforward. An IDE, a tool for writing code. And, of course, Pyara Micro. So that about covers what we're going to be getting done in this video. Let's switch over to the desktop and get started. So, first let's start by installing Java, as this is the main tool that we're going to need for all of the software we're using. For this series, I'll be using the Zulu JDK 8 version, but feel free to use JDK 11 to follow along if you wish. Firstly, we'll open up the browser and head over to the Azure website. On the downloads page, select your operating system. For this series, I'll be using OS X, but the process is much the same for Windows. Head down to the JDK 8 section and download the installer. Once the download is complete, run the installer, and that's it, Java's installed. We can verify that everything has worked as desired by opening a command line and typing in java-version. You should see something like this. Next, we'll install Maven. To do this, head over to the Maven website in your browser. Head to the downloads page and download the binary distribution archive for your operating system. This will be the zip for Windows and Mac or the tar.gz for Linux. Once downloaded, we'll be ready to install. To do this, first we need to make sure to add our Java home environment variable to point to our Java install like so. On Windows, you can do this through the system settings and edit the system and environment variables through this window. Once that's done, extract the binary download to a directory of your choosing and then add the bin directory from this new created folder to your path environment variable. And that's Maven installed. We can verify that this is completed correctly in a similar way to Java by typing maven-v on the command line as shown in here. Okay, now we've got Java and Maven installed, let's install our IDE. There are plenty of different IDEs to choose from, including Eclipse and IntelliJ, for example. But for the purposes of this series, I've decided to go with NetBeans, as the integration between NetBeans, Maven, and Pyara will make creating our Hello World application much more straightforward. To install NetBeans, we'll head over to the NetBeans website in our browser, then click through the download buttons to get to the final downloads page, where you can pick the installer for your relative operating system. Once downloaded, open the installer and go through the steps that it provides you, and that's NetBeans installed. Last but not least, let's get the star of the show, Pyara Micro. To install Pyara Micro, simply head over to the Pyara website, head to the download section, and click to download Pyara Micro Community Edition. That's all you need to do. We don't need to go through any process to install or set up, it'll be ready out of the box. So that brings us to a close for this part of the tutorial series. In the next and final part of the series, we'll be creating our Hello World application in NetBeans and deploying it on Pyara Micro. See you then.